Hello children. Hope you are enjoying our classes. This is your another value education class for standard 1. Today's topic is one which I am sure you'll like. Yes, any guesses? It's friendship. It reminds you of your friends. Isn't it children? Yes, you are missing them. right so let me tell you what actually friendship is friendship is the most valuable relationship in the life of a person a friend is someone who will compliment you and cheer you up when you are sad a friend will remember your birthday and make you smile she'll accept you at your worst a true friend will always be there to pick you up when you fall a true friend is indeed irreplaceable your friend will always correct you when you are wrong and will never cause any harm to you in friendship you can trust each other friends should be chosen carefully because good friends lead us on good path friendship can be affected by many means like misunderstanding True friends never let down their friend and always motivate to become a better person. Friendship brings bundles of joy. We can never think our life without friends. Friendship is the relation between two human beings which is more than any blood relation friendship is liking each other's mind it brings bundles of joy it is a great source of strength trust nobility and kindness friendship has no boundaries and no limits it brings sunshine in the dark life of sorrow it grows mutual trust and help it is above all the caste creed and religion a good friend is kind and helpful a good friend is caring and respectful also she is a nice listener a good friend smiles our friends are our treasures now i'll tell you an interesting story based on true friendship the story is of naughty gattu and his sister chinky once gattu and chinky were playing in the garden of their house while playing they heard the barking of a dog at first they ignored when the dog was continuously barking chinky went to the gate to find what is the matter Why are you barking? What's the matter? It seems he won't stop like this. I shall teach him a lesson. Wait, got to. Hitting a poor animal like this is not the right thing to do. We will take him inside. With affection, Chinky took him inside the house. cleaned his wound did his dressing 
gave him water and loved him much. From today, you will live with us. But my dear dog, what will we call you? Hmm, Moti. Moti is a good name. He can't live with us, said Gattu. Chi, how dirty he is. Gattu, don't be naughty. Gattu didn't like this at all. After all, how could someone love a dirty animal like this? This thought was going on his mind. No matter what happens, I'll get rid of this dirty animal. By seeing affection between Chinky and Moti, Gattu became very jealous. He was unable to bear Moti's presence in the house. To get rid of Moti, Gattu started playing dirty tricks. But Chinky somehow saved Moti. Gattu decided to leave Moti in such a place from where he can never come back. Gattu, did you see Moti anywhere? Asked Chinky. I can't find him anywhere. No, I haven't. I was sleeping. Chinky started crying. Gattu was feeling bad for his sister, but he was happy that Moti had finally gone. Don't cry, Chinky. Maybe Moti himself must have gone somewhere. But he was my best friend. And that night, a thief entered their house. Help! Please, someone help! Please save me! Gattu! Gattu! Wake up! I heard Moti barking right now. Sleep! Moti will not come. Okay, come. Let's have a look. Save me! Save me from this dog! Spare him, Moti! But he had never done such thing to anyone. Who are you? And then Gattu saw his bicycle lying on the ground. I understood everything, said Gattu. He is a thief who came to steal my bicycle. Tell me, am I right or not? Aren't you a thief? Listen now, before I let Moti attack you again, get out from here. Please forgive me, Chinky. Why are you apologizing? Because I did not like his presence in our house. That's why I left Moti in a forest far away from our house. But how did he come back? This is their special quality. Whomsoever they become friend to, they never leave them ever. When you left him in the jungle, Moti came nearby himself. When he saw the thief coming inside, he attacked badly. Gattu realized his mistake and Gattu and Moti became best friends. So children, what do you learn from the story? Yes, a true friend should always save you from danger. Here, the dog proved to be their true friend. Here is another story for you. It's also about true friendship. Once upon a time, in a forest lived two friends. One was a deer named Nick and the other was an elephant named Jumbo. Both of them shared great friendship. Nick, you are my true friend. 
Oh, really? So are you, my friend. One day, they were sleeping alongside the pond when Nick opened his eyes and saw a monkey leaning towards the pond. Oh, it seems the monkey is about to fall in the pond. Nick hurried towards the pond and on reaching, he pushed the monkey away and saved him. The monkey fell on the ground. Are you all right? Hey, why did you push me? You were about to fall in the pond. I wasn't falling. I was talking with my friend in the pond. Your friend? Did he fall in the pond? Chimpu the monkey stayed quiet on Nick's remark. Nick progressed towards the pond and looked in it. Chimpu also went after Nick and looked in the pond. Pointing towards his reflection on the water, Chimpu said, This is my friend. This is your reflection. I am alone in the jungle, so I will make friend with my own reflection, said Chimpu. Nick and Chimpu became best friends. The time Nick used to spend with Jumbo now got swapped with Chimpu. Jumbo didn't like this sudden change. He asked Nick, Nick, why don't you live with me anymore? That is because Chimpu is my true friend. I'll only play with him. Jumbo became very upset and went away. One day, Nick and Chimpu were playing in a forest. There, they heard the roar of a lion. They looked around and saw a lion coming towards them. They got scared. What are we going to do now, my friend? The lion will kill both of us. I can climb the tree, so the lion will not eat me. And what about me, Chimpu? Please save me. If I save your life, then the lion will eat me. No, brother, you save yourself. I am going. By saying this, the monkey climbed a tall tree. Nick, feeling helpless, started crying for help. Please, somebody, save me. I will die. You are my food. No one can save you from me. Right in time, Jumbo appeared from behind the tree and stood in front of the lion. Don't worry, my friend. No one can harm you. On seeing the huge elephant, the lion walked away. As soon as the lion went away, Jumbo turned to Nick and noticed that his friend is crying in regret. What happened, my friend? Please forgive me, Jumbo, for what I have done. I have ill-treated you. I have ignored you. I have treated you very badly. 
you are my true friend so children what do we learn true friends are rare we must choose our friends wisely so here we come to the end of our today's value education class hope you enjoyed this class thank you